In this video, we'll take a look at the protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for AU. That's gold. So gold only has one stable isotope, which makes this kind of easy. So we look on the periodic table, AU, gold here, and we find the atomic number. So the atomic number for gold, that's 79. The atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So we have 79 protons. When we look at neutrons, we can figure neutrons out because the mass number equals the protons plus the neutrons. This is the average atomic mass. So we're going to round this up to 197, 197. So we round this to a whole number. It's not exact because there are a few very minor isotopes of gold that end up giving us a little different number here. We round it to 197, and then we can figure out the neutrons because the mass number equals protons plus neutrons. Protons plus neutrons gives us the mass number. So 79 plus something will give us 197. We could also just subtract 79 from 197. We get 118 neutrons for gold here. For the electrons, we need to recognize that elements on the periodic table are neutral. They don't have a positive or a negative sign after them. So these are neutral. That means the number of protons equals electrons. And that makes sense. Positive charges and negative charges are equal. You're going to have a neutral element here. So we want to have our protons equal to electrons, 79 protons, 79 electrons, and we're done. We found the protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for AU, gold. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.